on everyone, William from Cinebell Nerd here, and welcome to episode 7.1, where I'm just going to be updating the AFK system. Yeah, okay, so this morning when I woke up, uh, I was looking at my code, and I was like, I can definitely simplify this to something like six lines or something, instead of this whole, I don't know, this huge amount of code. There was literally no reason for me to even loop through loop through the uh, the map because the main ID is the message author ID. So what I can simply do is make a check if there was a mention, if there was a mention, get the mentioned ID instead of looping for, uh, get the mentioned ID from the um from the map instead of looping through everything. So what I'm going to do is just simply go ahead and comment these out right now because I'm going to need those messages in a moment. So let's go ahead and remove this whole big block of code. So now we're going to do if message dot content dot includes and then I'm going to go ahead and do message dot mentions dot users dot first. So check if there was a mentioned. If there was a mention, then we're just going to go and let mentioned equals bot dot afk dot get and then we're gonna go do message dot mentions dot users dot first dot id so we're gonna go ahead and get the id of that user from the afk because that is the author id so if the if the mentioned user was inside the was inside the map then that means it's going to go ahead and keep the mentioned there. That means it's going to be true. So that means they are AFK. So we can go ahead and return this message, which is going to say instead of user tag right here, what we're going to need to do is we're going to add user tag is message author tag and a little bit of a comma right there. Right. Next, that means we're going to need to do mentioned dot user tag, and this will be mentioned dot reason instead that on its own is going to go ahead and check for well it's going to go ahead and check for the afk so if i do afk test or something as you can see i am afk it does literally the same thing of course i'm still afk and it won't remove my afk because i haven't added it i haven't told it to remove my afk yet now that, that's pretty simple, don't you think? That means now all we need to do is let. We're going to need to do yet another line, uh, two more lines of codes, and that is simply, uh, let's see, uh, AFK, maybe? No. Um. Let's see. Let's call it AFK check or something along the lines. And we're gonna do bot dot afk dot get message dot mention uh, message dot author dot id. So we're gonna get the message author id, and then we're gonna say if he is inside, if the author id is inside, that means he's afk. That means we just need to go ahead and return this. But as you can see, you won't actually do anything. So what you need to do is we're going to go ahead and put this inside a one line code because I said this was going to take two more lines. So what we're going to do is bot dot afk dot delete. And then finally, we'll just do message dot author dot id. And finally, this bot is complete, is completed. Now, if I do afk lul afk lul and uh, if i do test it should remove me from the afk and basically just like that i'm i've been removed from afk but as you can see it, it, won't, it won't actually do anything because i've been removed from afk and returned the code meaning that it will never reach here it never reached here so the afk doesn't even work so now if i do afk test now I am AFK once again, but now I will be removed from AFK uh, because I technically did type something. There you go. I was now removed from AFK. So 
Um, I should probably go ahead and remove this return code because it doesn't actually need to return. Because I want to make sure that even if I do mention myself, the code continues. So let's go ahead and remove that return. Now, it should work just like how I want it to. So let's go ahead and test fk test. And if I do len or mention myself, I should be removed from afk because I mentioned myself. And that means I typed something. I typed something. So there you go. I am no longer AFK. There you go. That is just simple as that. And it literally only took like six lines of codes. If you count this as six lines, uh, four lines, and then there's five and then six. You don't need to count that space because you can always remove that space. Blank space doesn't count. Anyways. So that was six lines of codes, and before it was, let's see how much it was. Uh, before it was, this is about ten lines, counted nine, and then this here is five lines. So nine plus five, so there was fourteen lines of codes, and I simplified this to six lines. That's just how sim how much simple I could have made it when I first coded it but uh, my brain wasn't working properly but there you go this is how you actually get get it to work um, next episode I'm gonna be working on aliases and show you guys how to make aliases inside your discord bot but other than that guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next episode